Going on guys, we are back with another video here, and this video is going to be the card you should choose for the free Christmas reward in HUT, okay? So, again guys, you know, I know probably a lot of you guys have already made your decision. Let me know who you did choose though, down below. I'm very curious to see that one. If you guys are enjoying the content though, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel here. Uh, but make sure you also follow me on Twitch, Henrik, I'm live there every single day. Uh, but guys, what I really want to talk about is, this is a very interesting question, okay? So, I think a lot of people struggle is because, really, it's, to me it's an opinion thing, and, and really based on what you need for your your team right so i'm on my playstation team right here free to play so i haven't opened my pack yet on it so you can look at my team here and say oh you know you might need that you might need this henrik right well i might need something i might need that so I, as you can see i'm pretty weak on a lot of positions right like i mean it's not really like it matters so i can kind of choose anyone but like it just depends what you're looking for so let's go into the christmas pack right now uh something to always note as well this christmas pack is actually out for quite a while uh it's actually out uh, for seven days, which is really, really nice that they did that. It's a long, long time. So here we go. Let's get into it right now. I'm going to talk about which ones I think are the best ones to select here. So getting into it right now, I get the first card, and the first card is Ricard Raquel. Second card is Red O'Bara, which is an interesting card. I'm going to get into him in a second. Severson, uh, Pederka. I, 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 I still get it wrong. I, I know some people were telling me on stream how to say it, and I still don't know how to say it. Rozovic, uh, Orlov. Valamaki and Philip Zadina. Okay, so there you go. Uh, Petrka, I would say, is how you say it. But uh, anyway, regardless, guys. Uh, so Red O'Bear is interesting. So why is Red O'Bear interesting? So everyone's thinking he's so interesting is because he's six four two eighteen, right? So he's good size on a, on a goalie. I mean, you definitely can't hate that. Uh, he got good synergy. He's a distributor, wingman, bombard light the lamp. Uh, he also has post to post zone ability, and again, very low aggression, which is what you love to see. Every other stats in the 90s, which is really amazing to see. Obviously, rebounds a little bit lower than 90, but not by much. Regardless, uh, and breakaway, but whatever, whatever. 6'4", 218. Again, intriguing for sure. I think if you have a goal and you're really struggling with him, you're like, wait a minute, I, I, I need something. No one can make a save for me. Try him out, I guess. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I've heard some good reviews. I've heard some bad reviews. Just depends. I think he could be a pretty good option. I really do. Uh, again, when it comes to... You know, Severson, if you need a right D, take Severson. I mean, it's really not that complicated, I think. Uh, if, if you want a right defenseman, you need one for your team. You're weak on the on the right side. Take Severson. I don't, I don't think it's that complicated. Uh, he's got really good abilities. Shutdown uh, zone is really, really good. So, uh, Boyne Leader is not that bad either for Superstar abilities. So, I mean, again, it just really depends on what you need. So, I mean, I think that's pretty good for him as well. He's got good skating. Uh, with distributor, he has 91 speed, 89 excel, 92, 92, 92. Decent shot, nothing crazy, but okay shot uh the one that I, I feel like orlov's really good as well orlov is 5'11 211 pounds he has distributor and spark so with spark and distributor he has 92 excel 92 agility 92 balance 97 endurance and 92 speed it shots kind of similar to severson's i'd say as well uh, uh 85 93 85 93 but his abilities are really nice he's got wheels as a, as a silver ability it also has truculence as a zone ability so uh, very, very nice uh, abilities on Orlov. So, uh, again, as you guys saw in my Xbox video, if you haven't checked that out, you know, check it out. But, uh, again, I chose Valamaki, right? So, Valamaki's not bad. So, the reason I took Valamaki is because he's a little bit taller than Orlov. Kind of maybe thinking about that Orlov might have been the better pick because uh, Orlov is faster, right? With, with synergies, that is. Uh, also is just better, I think, better abilities in general. I mean, I mean, in, re in reverse is not bad for two ability points, but... I'd say in general, you'd probably rather have, uh, you know, you'd probably rather have Orlov's truculence zone ability. That's just my, and wheels. I mean, that's very, very good uh, for him. So that's something to keep in mind. I think Orlov, I, my personal opinion is Orlov is very good. Left-handed D-man. Uh, I would say he's definitely the one to take probably when it comes to left D-man. Better if you need a goalie for sure. Uh, I feel like Rosovic wouldn't be bad either. Uh, for a right-handed uh, forward with, with Fly the Zone. Uh, they also gave him wheels also. So, yeah, I think Rosalind could be a pretty good one. Zadina's the only left-handed, like, like forward, right? So, I mean, he's probably good too, honestly. He's probably pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I would consider Zadina as well. Uh, but if you guys really wanted me to rank these cards, I mean, I'll rank them right now for you guys, all right? So, the best one to me is probably... It's probably Orlov, all right? I mean, it's probably Orlov. I mean, does that really mean the other ones are not as good? And it's tough to say. After that, I mean, I would probably go number two would probably be Severson, just due to the fact that he has shut down as a gold zone ability. It's really good and distributor, good synergies. Uh, so that's what I consider on Severson uh, for number two. Number three, I mean, honestly, I'd say him. 
Paderka honestly could be pretty good. Uh, I, I think Paderka could be pretty good. 5'11", 192, fly the zone, plus the shots gross. He has really good power, 99 power on his shot. So that's something to keep in mind as well. I think his uh, his shot is really, really good. So yeah, I think Paderka could be pretty solid uh, as well. 89 faceoffs as well. So I put him as number three. Number four, I'd probably rank... Uh, I'd probably put Zidane, honestly, at number four. I think he's really good. Six foot, 189. A booming shot and protector with Gladiator. I like, I like Zidane. I think he's a pretty good card. Uh, number five. Uh, at number five, I'd have to... I have to put Rozovic, honestly. I put Rozovic at number five. 6'1", 187 player with fly the zone and wingman. So his excel and his speed gets boosted up alongside having great abilities, which is wheels. Uh, again, not really the other ones are as good, but uh, his shot's good. 91, 91, 91, 91. So definitely a nice uh, little card here. And uh, yeah, I like Rozovic a lot. Uh, after him, though, number six, uh, I have to go with... I have to go with, honestly, Valamaki. Okay, so 6'2", 212. Uh, again, he is buzzing and wingman bombarded applesauce. Again, the reason why I selected Valamaki on my Xbox team is because I needed a left-handed D-man. I think Orlov's better than him looking back, but that's the reason I took Valamaki, if you guys are wondering. But anyway, uh, he has send it in reverse and tape to tape. His skating's decent. 90 Excel, 96 agility with, again, buzzing. Uh, 93 balance, 94 endurance, and 91 speed, again, with buzzing. His shot's decent with all these synergies active. 86, 95, 85, 93. Similar to Orlov and Severson when it comes to the shot, but... Yeah, I mean, I think Valamaki would be, to me, number six. Uh, number seven would have to be... I had to say Red Obera, but again, it's tough. Red Obera, I mean, I, I try to rank a goalie so high. I think Barrett could be a little bit higher. You can make the case as well. I mean, let me, let me know what you guys think and your experiences with him and those who have obviously selected him. Again, he is, you know, wingman, distributor, bombarded like the lamp. Again, the post to post. X-ray is not even that bad uh, as well. So, definitely, I really like this Red Obera card. The aggression is extremely low. So, definitely... Very encouraging signs on this card. Uh, and, and again, last but not least, Ricard Raquel. And to say that it's a bad card, it's a lie. It's a lie, guys. It's not a bad card. None of these cards are bad. It's hard to say. I mean, he also has Quick Pick, Close Quarters, and Unsolvable Force. And Unsolvable Force is a very, very good ability. So, it's tough. I mean, it's, it's tough to really rank these, guys. I mean, that's how I'd rank them, 1 to 8. But, uh, you know, definitely a good card. 6 foot, 196. But again... If I had to rank them, that's how I'd rank them. One to eight, guys. Let me know how you would rank them in the comment section down below. I'm very, very curious on that uh, as well. Again, for my PS5 team, I'm a Devils fan. I didn't take him on my Xbox team. I'm going to take Damon Severson. Because, uh, I mean, I have Adam Fox in my third pair as well. It's not like my defense is stacked either. So, I mean, I think Severson is, is the guy I'm going to select here uh, for my team. But, uh, yeah, I mean, listen... It's all opinion based. I think it's all kind of what you need. If you feel like your goaltending is just not helping you out, if you feel like you need a lefty, probably go Orlov. If you need a right-handed forward, I'd probably go Roslovic. If you need a left-handed forward, of course, Zadina is the only option. So uh, as you can see for my free-to-play team, kind of a little free-to-play, I guess, team update, but uh, not much of an update. But uh, anyway, I actually didn't put, uh, I didn't put, oh, Pro Cup I could have put in technically, but it's all right. Severson is definitely a better card uh, in general. Uh, as well, so yeah, there you go. Now we got you know Severson, you know right. These are looking pretty solid here on PlayStation. So that's what it's looking like, guys. I feel like address your position of need. None of these cards are that much better than the other one. I feel like where it's like ridiculous if you don't take this you know specific two cards or one card. Just my opinion, my two cents on it. Let me know what you guys think. If you did enjoy this video, though, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik3Es, and join the Discord to talk to me. Follow and subscribe to the channel. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.